this video, we're going to show you one of the best passing concepts in Madden 24. It is out of the U-Trips formation. And uh, U-Trips has got a lot of value uh, here in the beginning of the year. And one of the reasons why U-Trips is so valuable every year at the beginning of the year is because of its ability to have stock posts and stock corners that cut really, really, really sharply. And so today we're going to show you one of my favorite plays uh, out of this formation. It is the play tight end whip. Now, if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, the link's going to be down in the description to join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks, and it will get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, what's really cool about this formation, like, like I said, is it has some really cool stock routes that you can't really hot route right now, and that is these sharp cutting post routes, both to really to every receiver on the for, in the formation with the exception of the tight end. And so for this play tight end whip, this setup that I like to do is we're going to drag the slot wide receiver. We know that slant routes are kind of broken right now, but drag routes are really good this year. And then we are going to fade the outside trips receiver. So what we have right here is kind of a little drag whip concept that does a really good job of kind of getting some separation against man to man. You'll see that this whip route will absolutely destroy man coverage and whip routes as of right now, uh, which we're still in August. So obviously with abilities, it'll change things a little bit. But whip routes, as of right now, are really effective uh, at beating man coverage and might arguably be one of the most consistent ways to beat man coverage in this game, maybe the best man beater in the game, okay? Um, now, uh, this is out of the Patriots playbook. What you're going to also see here is this little drag route, and then you have this post. So this post route, as you can see right there, I kind of got a little bit random uh, randomness here, but I'll show you this route real quick. So this post route, provided that you have time in the pocket, is going to get separation. It's actually going to get separation in really two spots. The first spot is right there as the quarterback spy went crazy over the middle of the field, but the first spot is right there. Now, normally what will happen is they will have some kind of user lurk right there. So typically that window, you're not going to normally need to be able to be aware of because you're not going to throw it most of the time, especially if you're playing against a good player. But then the beauty of this play is as you wait, if you freeform this down and inside, you can, these rack catch animations are so good this year, and you're able to get that inside separation against the man coverage. What this requires now from your opponent is they have to kind of user the, uh, the post. So the way that one might look would be this mid read on the field. Now, of course, we do have our running back blocking, so we should be able to pick most, most blitzes up. And then you see there's that drag that really does a good job of working backside against some of these formations. Now, one of the things that I did want to quickly recommend to you, though, is a standard coverage defense we see a lot in Madden 23 right now, or Madden 24, is this double flat, where they have basically two hard flats to take away, like, your, your whip routes and stuff like that. Now, this whip route can be thrown kind of right in this pocket, possession catch it, but it's not it's still, it's going to contain the route. It's not going to be a huge gain for you. And you'll also see the same is kind of true of the drag route. The drag route will win, but because of the hard flats, they are going to do a decent job at kind of containing this route over the middle. So you second throw it, but I'm only getting three to four yards. One very subtle thing that you can do on this play, and I have found that these slant routes will work pretty well if you don't motion them, um, is, the, is, the, is the slant. Now the slant is going to be, the spacing is going to be a little bit more uh, in my opinion, like just not ideal. But once you get that slant across, he will get over the top of hard flats and you still have that backside route. So if the user the user now has to make a, a super big decision, are they going to go to the slant or are they going to go to the post, right? And this is this is one of the best concepts in Madden every single year for beating man coverage because the, the beauty of the slant is if you wait on this, you can throw it over here and it's going to get over the top of hard flats. Now, while U-Trips is really good against man coverage, it is also good against zone coverage. So I wanted to show you this real quick. If your opponent is not playing underneath hard flats and stuff like that, you want to be throwing this tight end whip and just taking the yards they give you. So you want to force them to have to play some type of hard flat, whether that be at a cover three or cover four. And what this play does specifically, and it's back to that slant route for a second, you'll see here this, this drag. You can throw this over the middle just like that underneath these yellow zones because the post is going to pull the yellow zones back. So now your opponent's going to be in a situation where they have to hard flat. And when they start to shade down and hard flat, this is where you can mix in the slant route here. And what you'll see with the slant is he'll kind of get over the top of the of the flats and will still kind of get underneath of the deep blue zones. But the best route on this play against zone coverage is truly this uh, deep post route. It's really the best route on the, uh, on the play. And when you utilize things like slants and drags, 
uh, in, co in conjunction with this, it makes this a really, really good concept. But as you can see there, the beauty of U-Trips is the spacing and the fact that the outside trips receiver is able to pull really any zone. It doesn't matter if it's cover three, doesn't matter if it's cover two, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what zone covers they call. You've got a really good chance of, of hitting this concept. And I'll show it to you here. This is against cover two. Now, the mid-read defender will kind of match. As you see right there, see how the mid-read kind of matches? But then late in the route, he'll let him go. This also kind of simulates how a user is probably going to defend this play. So what you'll get, obviously, you still have your backside drag. So you can throw that right in that little middle, middle window if the user bails uh, to the post route. So keep that in mind. So you have the drag. You have, you have your, um, your whip route, of course, underneath those two little routes. But then if you wait on this, you'll see, I actually meshed it really well there. Um, if you wait on this, the user, again, just a simulation here, but the user should come down. And when the user drops down to the drag, then you have the post opportunity. So, you know, it's going to get over clouds. It's going to get over all that stuff. Just throw it right in that pocket. And as you can see, one of the best routes in the game this year. If you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, join the Patreon today. Ten bucks gets you access to everything in the Patreon, including all of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks, and any new ebooks we release while you are a member. Sign up today down in the description. Ten bucks gets you access to everything.